now that we're in the castle age, let's do some more upgrades. Can't do any for mines anymore. Still got a few for the blacksmith. No point doing any for the market. Well, I'll do that, the trading fee. I'll do faith as well, so my units aren't eased so easily uh, converted. What do I need? Food and gold for them. Eh. So was I need four more, don't I? For that. I don't know where my villagers went for that. Oh! Wow, those that stone mine just vanished. So is that one. Now I could be playing with fire here. But I'm going to try and go for this gold mine. Stone mine rather. If I do see one on this side of the river where my scout scouts. Um, I'll go for that one. If not, I'm going for that one. Get rid of that. Because I don't want it anymore. And I might build a siege workshop. Have some fun with some siege ongers or heavy ongers or whatever they're called. Even you just advanced to the bloody Imperial Age. I was there before, yeah. Don't know what the hell they've been doing. Food I am lacking on. Quite a lot, to be honest. Then again, I'm doing a bunch of upgrades. That snow's done with. Now could you please build a siege workshop? Actually, can you build a couple? Actually, build a few. One more on the hill for good luck. Boonage? No, we don't want any bone age. No, we don't want bonage. Margaret, time to do it. go over there. And you. Go on. Off your skip. Oh, tit tit tit, he said. Run out of gold there. Start there instead. They seem to be doing very well on these stone mines. Well, this stone mine specifically over here. Enemy hasn't attacked me yet. Now I'm going to make a very silly army. I'm going to take advantage of the siege upgrades and build a bunch of siege. They are currently being built. And you'll see them. And there they are. Oh! Oh! My scout, for some reason, went in. Must have followed someone into the base. Oh, it did! Because I moved them there and it must have chased uh, a villager. Shit. No, it was over here. You can see a deer dead, so they're gathering food. Last batch of siege onagers. There we go. Time to move them out, see what they can do. Now, as soon as an enemy will get close to them, that's when things will start going wrong. I 
I mean, these are very ineffective against units that are moving, unless the units that are moving are in a clump or mass. And whilst they are moving out, I'm going to build a bunch, train a bunch of the Wode Raiders. As soon as greens are closest, I'm going to go for greens first. It makes sense. The amount of deer along here. It's an excellent source of food, especially for starting age. Oh, those poor villagers. Get fucked up. Now this would have angered them, and I noticed a little lag then, where they've gathered their uh, units to attack me. Now ideally what I'd want is for these onagers to attack in burst waves like they're doing now, rather than all together at once. Because if they are all together attack at once, then that gives the enemy time to catch up. Right, cavalry might fuck with... Look at them go. I mean, it is working, but now they've caught up. This is where things are going to go wrong. Because my onagers are going to start attacking each other. I mean, I could take control of them and tell them to attack the ones that are attacking my men. But if I did that, actually no, I'm going to do it because they're running out. Right. Oh, they're struggling with that one. Oh, we just took out two. That archer is being a pain in the ass. Oh, it actually hit him. Yeah, now you're buggered. Oh no! Battering rams! What am I going to do? Oh, I'm being attacked. Oh, move them quick. Stone. Someone g gather some more stone. Why did I have to start with that cavalry? Yeah, now we're buggered. They did fairly well though, you can see the, just the devastation that these onagers can actually do. And it's crazy. But it's time to unleash the main army. Now these wood raiders are good against buildings, so I will be just sending them all in without any siege.